when you're in a small setting, typically the owner is the one who's managing the entire organization. A lot of my clients have asked me what are some of the things that I do in order to keep it going. And I would like to introduce you to a podcast and also a book today. Happy New Year! I haven't done this video for a long time. I apologize, but it's now New Year. I just want to wish everyone a Happy New Year. Um, please be healthy. Let's have a prosperous year and let's have a good time too as well. Today, I would like to talk about my vision as a business owner and my advice as a business owner today. Uh, especially, I want a lot of people do talk to me about how to grow the business, um, how to make that really happen. And me, myself, as a business owner, also really feel and think about that a lot as well. And one of the key things I believe in a small business or a medium sized business to grow, one of the key things to remember is the owner mindset will be one of the key features in growth. It's because when you're in a small setting, typically the owner is the one who's managing the entire organization. And it is not easy to keep your uh, mindset um, always positive and straight. A lot of my clients have asked me what are some of the things that I do in order to keep it going. And I would like to introduce you to a podcast and also a book today. The podcast that I like to listen is uh, David Nigel. One of the key um, theme that he has throughout his pocket is instead of hoping I hope or I wish um, make it an I am so for example a lot of people casually say things like I hope to be a good manager I hope I have a million dollar business I hope I have a great employees I hope I, ha I am a good leader instead of saying I hope if you substitute the word I am or I have, then your decision and your action will follow that better. So instead of saying, I hope to be a good manager, say, I am a good manager. Instead of, I hope to be a good leader, say, I am a leader. Then you can immediately make a decision that a good leader makes because you are a good leader and therefore you are making a decision as a good leader. So that has uh, shifted my mindset a lot in making a decision and helped me also make a better uh, make a better decision in certain action. The book that I would like to introduce you today is uh, Five Dysfunction of Team. This was a strong recommendation from one of the um, leadership group to me and I really like that. Um, the reason is that um, if you read the book, it mainly talks about this company where it has a wonderful product, highly qualified, good employees, but yet cannot bring a good result. And when that is going on, the number one thing you have to look carefully is the teamwork. When we have a bunch of good employees and when, not, when still, despite the good employees, when you're not bringing the result that you're expecting, it's typically a teamwork issue. So the book talks about uh, the five dysfunctions and one of the thing is uh, first is absence of trust when uh, employees and the members are not trusting each other. Number two is fear of conflict uh, when you are scared to bring a conflict to the table or to the surface and really deal with that. Number three, lack of commitment. Uh, number four, avoidance of accountability. And number five, um, inattention to the result. So when these are when these dysfunctions are happening at, at your workplace, and then likely a good teamwork is not there. The reason that I focus a lot on teamwork is uh, a lot of people talk about growth, a lot of people talk about big revenue, a lot of people talk about how we, they want to proceed. Uh, and typically, the biggest struggle people have getting to that goal is having a right team and having the right teamwork. Getting a good teamwork requires a lot of process in between and steps in between. As an owner, you are the one who has to have a right mindset and then build these steps so a proper teamwork and a proper team can be built.
also this is also part of my goal as well you know 2022 I'm hoping my firm to also grow and then help more clients and deliver more value to our clients in order for that to happen a teamwork is going to be a key for me as well and providing a practical step to make that happen is part of my goal if anyone also have a same goal or same um, same concerns and then want to talk more about how to make this practically happen we're here for you to discuss any option and any legal issues in between please reach out to us i wish everyone a very very healthy happy new year all right i'll talk to you guys later bye